Fiber Robo, a new fiber that could reshape the way we live. Massachusetts Institute of Technology has developed a new kind of fiber that can change shape. This exciting fiber is called Fiber Robo, and it allows fabrics made from the fiber to change shape as well. To make this fiber, scientists used a material called liquid crystal elastomer, LCE. The LCE combines the properties of both liquid and crystal. This means it can flow like a liquid and also line up in a crystal pattern when it settles. When the LCE is heated, the crystal molecules fall out of alignment, which causes the fiber to shrink. When the LCE cools down, the crystal molecules go back to their original arrangement, and the material recovers its shape. Fiber Robo could have many uses. For example, a sports bra made with Fiber Robo tightens to provide better support while exercising. Also, Fiber Robo is low cost, and it works well with the existing machines and methods used in clothing industries. Scientists are still exploring ways to improve and apply this technology. The future of this fiber is promising, and it could reshape our daily lives in ways beyond our imagination. Welcome everyone to English for You. I'm Adam, and I'm Elsie. And in today's every changing world, everyone, technology advancements are constantly pushing boundaries of what's possible. I mean, the newest smartphone, the newest smart homes, and AI technology is transforming how we live, work, and play. Oh, so let me guess. Today we'll be talking about some new cool technology thing. <laughs> yeah, you guessed correctly. Yeah, everyone, we'll be talking about a new fiber that could replace the way we live and, and reshape. Yeah, it's called Fibrobo. Fibrobo. All right. Well, let's jump into this. Learning more about this Fibrobo. Our article starts off by saying. Massachusetts Institute of Technology has developed a new kind of fiber that can change shape. Fiber 这个名词指的是纤维。那麻省理工学院，也就是 MIT， 开发了一种可以改变形状的新型纤维。This exciting fiber is called Fibe Robo, and it allows fabrics made from the fiber. To change shape, as well, we also see the word or phrase "as well," which means also. Ah, so yeah, A is from B 制成的。我们可以说 A， 然后带出 be 动词，带出第三态过去分词，也就是 made， 然后再接上 from 以及 B。那它代表的是有经过化学变化所制成的东西。那还有就是 as well， 它代表的是也。那通常是放在句尾的，所以啊，我们说 fabric 这个名词是织物布料。那课文就说啦，这种令人兴奋的纤维名 fiber robo， 它能够让这个使用这种纤维制成的布料也可以改变形状。Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of almost taking inspiration, maybe from animals like octopus can change its shape. This technology is really something cool. To make this fiber, scientists used a material called liquid crystal elastomer. The LCE combines the properties of both liquid and crystal. There we see the word property, which is a noun. It's a quality or characteristic that something has. An example sentence we could use would be. One property of water is that it freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Property 这个名词呢，指的是特性或是特质。那它常用的是复数型哦。那另外呢 ，property 还可以指财产啦、资产或是房产。比如说啊 ，private property 那就是私有的财产 ，public property 那就是公共的财产。Property value 指的就是房产的价值。
。所以课文这边说到呢，为了制造这种纤维，科学家使用了一种称为异晶弹性体的材料。异晶弹性体啊，结合了一体还有晶体的特性哦。Our article then continues by saying this means it can flow like a liquid. And also line up in a crystal pattern when it settles. There we see the phrase "line up." That's to arrange in a row or series. Line up 这一个片语动词呢，指的就是排列。好，所以呢，我们在日常生活中听到的时候，那就是要叫你排队。所以呢，课文说到，这意味着它既能像一体一样流动，也能够在它沉降的时候排列成晶体的结构。Wow, this seems pretty complicated. It does, but you know, let's find a simple way to understand it better. Our article says when the LCE is heated, the crystal molecules fall out of alignment, which causes the fiber to shrink. Ah, so get smaller. Where there we see the word shrink. It's a verb. It's to become less or smaller to make something become less. Or smaller. An example sentence using the word "shrink" would be, "My T-shirt shrank in the wash and doesn't fit me anymore." Shrink 这个动词呢，指的是缩小。那它的三态变化是不规则的，要特别小心。分别是 shrink, shrank， 还有一个是 shrunk, shrink, shrank, shrunk。那缩小、缩水也可以用 shrink 这个字。好，比如说 shrink in size。那就是缩小了尺寸。那还有退缩或是萎缩，也可以用这个字。Shrink from responsibility， 那就是你去逃避责任。那还有一个哦，如果你把 shrink 拿来当名词用，在口语上面呢、啊、，shrink 指的是精神病学家。所以当人家说哦 ，see a shrink， 那就是看心理医生。那还有一个 molecule 这个名词是分子。Out of alignment 指的是没有对齐或是不整齐，所以课文说到的是，当液晶弹性体受热的时候，晶体分子的排序会变得混乱，这会导致纤维收缩。Okay, well, finding out more about this cool technology, it says when the LCE cools down, the crystal molecules go back to their original arrangement, and the material recovers its shape. Whoa! So the fiber can change shape with temperature changes. Exactly. There we see the phrase "cool down." That means to become cooler, or to make something become cooler or a little colder. Next, we saw the word "original." It's an adjective. It's the first or earliest existing at the beginning. An example sentence using that adjective would be. The original plan was to go to the park, but we decided to go to the beach instead. 好，我们首先看到的 cool down 指的是使冷却下来或是使降温。那 original 这个形容词呢，是原先的或是最初的，可以形容，比如说 plan 计划 ，the original plan， 那就是最初的计划。还可以形容原创的或是有创意的。An original idea, 那就是一个原创的想法。那另外啊，它也可以当名词使用哦。当名词使用的时候啊，它指的就是原件或是正本。课文说到，当液晶弹性体冷却的时候，晶体分子则会回到原先的排序，材料也会恢复其形状。Jumping back to our article and learning more about this technology, it says fiber robo could have many uses. For example, a sports bra made with fiber robo tightens to provide better support while exercising. There we see the word verb tightens. Now, tighten is to become tighter or to make something become tighter, firmer, or less easy to move. An example sentence we could say is. You need to tighten the screws to make sure the bookshelf is secure. Tighten 这个动词呢是变紧或是使绷紧。那你会发现它的前面是 t i g h t， 也就是 tight， 指的是紧的，加上 e n 组成的一个动词。
课文说啊 ，Fibrobo 可以有许多的用途，比如说使用 Fibrobo 所制成的运动内衣，在运动的时候会 tighten 变紧，以提供更好的支撑。But what about the cost? I bet it is pretty expensive. Yeah, you would think if you're going to buy a shirt that can cool down or that can change shape, it, yeah,、mm-hmm. it can change shape like an octopus,、uh, that it would be pretty expensive. Well, just wait. Actually, it says also Five Robo is low cost and it works well with the existing machines and methods used in clothing industries. So it can be used by still using the old machines that make T-shirts today. So you don't need to buy a whole new machine then, I guess, to make this new type of five robo T-shirt sports bra clothes. Okay, so now there are some of these factories. They have machines and methods that can be used to make five robo. So we say that because of this. Fibrobo 的成本是很低廉的，我们用的是 low cost 来形容。相反，如果是成本很高的，就用 high cost 来形容。So that I mean, it's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, it really is. But are there other potential uses for Fibrobo? Hmm. Well, good question. It says scientists are still exploring ways to improve and apply this technology. The future of this fiber is promising, and it could reshape our daily lives in ways beyond our imagination. There, everyone, we see explore. So scientists are still exploring. Explore is a verb. It's to examine a subject or a possibility、uh, completely or carefully, in order to find out more about it. An example sentence using "explore" would be: Scientists explore new ideas to find better ways to treat diseases. Explore 这个动词是探讨，是研究。那如果你在字尾加上 "are explorer" 这个名词，就会是这个探险家的意思哦。那再来，我们看到 "reshape" 这个动词是重塑或是重塑外形。自首的 "r e" 常常会接在动词或是名词，还有形容词之前。那它就会表示重新、又或是再一次的意思。比如说 ，reuse， 那就是再次的去使用、利用 ；redo， 那就是重新再做一次。那还有一个像是 restart， 那就是重新再开始一次。Wow, so all this could reshape our daily lives in ways beyond our imagination. And our imagination, we see, is a noun. It's the ability to create ideas or pictures in your mind. An example sentence would be: Using your imagination can help you come up with creative solutions to problems. Imagination 这个名词是想象力或是想象。那你在想象的时候会有 image， 也就是这个画面跑到你的脑袋里头，对不对？那你做想象的动作就是。Imagine 这个动词可以表示。那还有，如果你要形容自己或是别人是富有想象力的，你可以用到 imaginative 啊这个形容词。课文最后说到啊，科学家们仍在研究改进和应用这项技术的方法。这种纤维的未来可期，它可能会以超乎我们想象的方式改变我们的日常生活哦。Okay, so now everyone that we learned about this awesome new technology. And how it is changing the world today. I got excited by even thinking about it. But our for you chat question is: Besides what's mentioned in the article, what could be some other uses for Fibrobo? Oh, some other uses. Yeah. What else could it be used for? What do we think? Maybe some. Bandages. Oh, what do you think? Okay, so bandages. All right. So since they're fiber, they can what? Change shape. Yeah, they can change shape, and maybe if you're bleeding really bad, it can provide that compression. Right? It can tighten. Oh, around the wound or something like that. Cool. And what else? What else would I think? Okay, so with this technology, it's really lightweight. I think in the future, maybe five rubber could be used in architecture to create structures like buildings or you know facades that change shape 
according to the environmental conditions. So a lot of Taiwan, we have a lot of earthquakes and typhoons. Maybe using this kind of technology will allow buildings to kind of swing, but also be super strong. Um, so yeah, I think those are some very cool possibilities. Yes, and there, I believe there are so many other uses for Fibrobo, and I guess our students can talk about them. Yeah, what else could it be used for? I'm sure for video games or new game, not games, but toys could be even an option there too. 嗯，那听完今天的节目，还学的不够精心吗？欢迎到空中家教和老师练习哦。So for English for you, this is Elsie, and I'm Adam. See you next time. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Property. This liquid has the properties of a solid when it is kept at a cold temperature. Shrink. The area where these tigers live in the wild has been shrinking because of human activity. Original. The new phone lasts 36 hours before it needs a charge. That's 50 percent longer than the original model. Tighten. The basketball player tightened her hair tie to keep her hair out of her face during the game. Explore. Let's explore other possibilities for our vacation this year because we always go to the same places. Imagination. With just imagination and a few simple toys, children act out stories when they play. 小补铁 ，fiber, fabric, molecule, out of alignment。